The way that I work through this is I started by slating off small amounts of time during the day each day to do nothing, even though doing nothing when you've been working and living in overdrive your whole life is actually doing something. At the beginning, when I started doing it, I would observe all the thoughts that were going through my mind, the emotions I was feeling, and it really gave me time to be with myself. And I start to distance myself from that narrative instead of being so heavily identified with it. And then I would increase on that time as time went along because it was easier and easier to hold that space for myself to just be and exist. And as I did that, my body and my energy levels caught back up and I didn't feel as exhausted. I started to feel the way I always wanted to feel, more energized, more inspired to do the things that I love and to try new things. So if you feel panicked when this happens, that's okay, just observe that, that's normal. It's the ego mind saying, hold on, wait a minute, uh, we need to be doing something because the ego mind always has to be in control. It's in charge of survival, so it's trying to find the best way to navigate survival. And if you have been on high alert most of your life for whatever reasons that may be, then your mind thinks that there's something wrong because it's not used to not needing to be on guard all the time. I also like to remind people that if you are pressuring yourself to do things while you're resting, then you're not actually resting. So practice allowing yourself to have genuine full rest. Observe those thoughts, let them go. If there's emotions that come up with those, let them go. And soon enough, that exhaustion will release itself from the body. Rest is a powerful thing and you deserve to rest.